Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. When this light turns green, this camera might fall off and I might have to redo this, but whatever. Uh, please subscribe and like the video. I hope it's not bouncing. I don't know, I've never filmed in the car before. So we're gonna do a video today where we eat what YouTubers tell me to for a day. And so basically I DM'd a ton of YouTubers and I had a bunch of, uh, I was gonna say subscribe, respond. So right now we're going to Dunkin' Donuts. We're gonna get what Nick Don Pierre told me to get. And you guys will see that order once we get there. And basically, yeah, so the whole day we're just gonna eat what YouTubers tell me to eat. And it's great, so I gotta go. Good morning, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get um, a medium iced coffee with cream and sugar? And then a strawberry frosted donut, a Boston cream donut, a jelly donut, a cinnamon roll, and a sausage egg cheese on a croissant. You wanted a strawberry frosted donut, a jelly donut, and then a... Uh, do you have Boston cream and a cinnamon roll? All right. And then did you get everything else too? I got the large iced coffee, but what was the... Medium, it's a medium iced coffee and then a sausage egg and cheese on a croissant. All right. Anything else? No, that's all. All right, it's gonna be 11.30 at the window, thank you. Thank you. 11.30. All right, thanks Nick Dompierre. Just kidding, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Hi. Here we go. I'll wait till I'm home with you guys to try it. I haven't had cream and sugar in my coffee in so long. Like, I can't remember the last time that I had cream and coffee. Or sugar. <laughs> hey, can I just get a sausage McGriddle with two hash browns and an orange juice? Just a small. Small orange juice, sausage McGriddle, and two hash browns, anything else? That's all. 548. Alright, guys, so we're at McDonald's and it's probably loud. So I got um, a sausage McGriddle with two hash browns and an orange juice. Uh, I texted, I hope this isn't loud guys, Nicole Concilio, I asked her what she thought I should get and so she said this is what she orders for breakfast, so I'm, oh, I pull up. Alright guys, so I don't know how the noise is going to sound in the car when I filmed earlier, so in case it's not good, uh, short version, we went to Dunkin Donuts and McDonald's, I DM'd a ton of YouTubers, let's just get started too anyway. I DM'd a ton of YouTubers asking them to tell me orders for food, what they thought I should eat. Oh, that smells good. And a lot of them responded. Um, I figured certain ones definitely would. Just because they have a big following on YouTube, but not a big following on Instagram. Um, and so, I don't, I don't think this has been done before. If it has, you can call me out for it, but I'm pretty sure... Um, Derek, whatever, did a title, like, eating what YouTubers tell me to, but he wasn't actually eating what YouTubers told him to. So he wasn't actually eating what YouTubers told him to. He was eating, like, the food out of the trash or something. It was something weird. So, basically, I DM Nick Dompierre, if you don't know who that is. All the people that I talk about will be linked in the description. He's a cheat day YouTuber. He also does, like, bulking videos and diet videos and his, just what he eats and things like that. Um, he also has a really pretty girlfriend. <laughs> um... So anyway, he told me to get all this stuff from Dunkin' Donut. This is a coffee with sugar and cream, which I never get the sugar and cream. I always get like Splenda. Here is a cinnamon roll. And then here we have a jelly-filled donut. I've never had a Dunkin' Donut jelly-filled donut. And this is a strawberry frosted and then a Boston cream. I've never had a Boston cream. All these are fresh. I think these are cute. All right, so I added sugar to this because I just didn't put enough. But now that I added some, like, five tablespoons of sugar, it's great. Mm. Splenda actually tastes a lot sweeter than real sugar. Mmm. And then, too, I guess I'll say this because I'm eating all this food. I also went to... Uh, so, this is from McDonald's. Nicole Concilio. She's a beauty YouTuber. Love her. She's so cool. She told me to get the two hash browns and a sausage McGriddle. Never had a sausage McGriddle. Obviously, I've had hash browns. And then she told me to get an orange juice. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, thank God we got like stuff that is um, not sweet too. Am I missing a bag? I ordered um, the ham and cheese croissant. Hold on. All right, you guys, I'm back. They were so rude to me too. They weren't even nice about the fact that I had to drive all the way back up there. All right, so still excited. All right. So now we can take out 
this. Woohoo! Now we got everything we need. Got napkins galore. Oh, this looks so good. Okay, so this was definitely worth the drive back. Look at that. It looks so yummy. And everything is so warm because it didn't take me too long to get there. Okay. Oh my god. I didn't want sausage because I don't like sausage. That was amazing. Wow. I'm so impressed. It's like the perfect balance of sweet and savory. That was amazing. I never drink coffee ever really. Like I'll occasionally get like a Starbucks or something, but I can only drink like a quarter of it now. I was never sensitive to caffeine. Maybe I should do a video where I drink caffeine every day and then like quit. Mm. That's amazing. I don't want to move on yet. I'll one more bite and then we'll try some out. It's just so good. Moist. Mmm. That's amazing. I have a bunch more big YouTubers that will be like throughout this whole video. That was really good too. I usually don't like egg on my food so I might take that off but we'll see. Right, let's try some donuts real quick. It's actually really good too. Y'all, I really don't like sausage and I had two people tell me to get sausage but it ended up being fine. I'm going to save one of these hash browns for my son. Um, I've like completely changed his diet so he doesn't eat stuff like that anymore. But one day it's not going to kill him. Okay, let's see. Let's try the strawberry. I can't remember. I don't think I've ever had a Dunkin' Donut donut. I can't recall ever having one. Oh my god. There's the gourmet um, donut place by my house. And this is better. Wow. A donut place near me started like skimping on things. Like they had a Nutella donut with no Nutella basically. Just a Nutella mousse, which is Nutella mixed with other stuff. I'm so <laughs> Wow. That's amazing. It's like so perfectly soft. The strawberry flavor is great. Alright, here's the one I'm most worried about of everything. Is this Boston cream donut. Never had a Boston cream because I don't really like the chocolate on top of the donut. But so many people rant and rave about it, so let's just try the Boston Cream Donut. Okay, so the center is amazing. Is it pudding? Mmm. It tastes like vanilla pudding. Mm. So, I really like the inside, the middle filling. But I'm not a fan of the chocolate on top of the donut. But if I could get the Boston cream without the chocolate frosting, like a vanilla Boston cream, frosted, I can't talk, a vanilla Boston cream donut, that would be amazing. I've just never been a chocolate fan. All right, let's try by this and we'll go back to this stuff. So this is just a jelly donut. Mmm, super good. I don't know if y'all can see it. When I was younger, mmm, hated jelly donuts. They were so disgusting. I didn't like ice creams with like fruit in it either. That's so good. And it looks like real sausage too. Like, not like baked stuff. Mm, that's really good. I oh, let's try a cinnamon roll. This was an expensive breakfast. <laughs> Which is totally fine, but... I didn't think it was going to cost so much for some reason. It wasn't horrible, but... 
I thought it would be 10 bucks for everything. Nothing. Alright, try this. I don't know if I'm gonna like this, to be honest. I'm just gonna be real with you guys. It'd be better warm, so I'm gonna heat that up and eat it later. It's not bad at all. It's good. Y'all, I think I have like. Is there a sauce on this? If I eat too many sweets on my cheat days in the morning, I like crash afterwards. I don't know if I'm just sensitive to sugar because I don't ever eat sugar. Besides natural sugar. I don't know, it's weird, right? So today, oh crap, we're taking my husband's bike to get the tires changed. And please someone tell me how this makes sense. We got a flat tire on the interstate the other week and it was horrible. We were on the side of the road for four hours because I'm going to do a story time on that. Because this company is messed up. Um, we're on the side of the road for four hours. Finally get a tow truck because even the tire people who came out to fix the tire couldn't because they didn't have the tool. And we didn't know that our tires have aftermarket like bolts. So a normal tire thing doesn't work. And so they ended up having to tow our car. Couldn't take us so we're still sitting on the side of the road waiting for someone to come pick us up one of our friends um we get the tow or the car towed here and then oh yeah we get the car towed here then we buy the part for the car so when the car was here at the house my husband changed the tire like he should have been able to do on the side of the road but we didn't have the tool we drive to the um tire place because it's right there on our spare and then we got this tire for a used tire and the work. It only cost 50 bucks. But then for my husband tires, it cost like $150 to get the tires themselves. Maybe per tire, I can't remember. And then it's going to cost another $130 to change the tires. Just to change the tire. I'm not happy about it. I don't think Nick Dompierre is going to watch my video. Um, but if he just skipped through this part since I'm trying foods that he told me to eat. I'm so impressed with you because if you had all this food in front of you, you would eat all of this plus like three more huge donuts. Very impressive. I am fooled. So later on today, we're going to go to a few more fast food places and a few YouTubers I'm sure you know are going to pick what we eat and I'm really excited. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Hey guys, I am back. I just got back from McDonald's. So right now we're eating what Haley Reese told me I should get. So basically we've got mac sauce, fries, and nuggets from McDonald's and then Sophia Cleo. She's also a mukbanger on YouTube. I asked her what milkshake flavor I should get because I really wanted a milkshake. She told me cookies and cream. They didn't have cookies and cream, which is really disappointing because that's actually one of my favorite flavors. That or like, you know, Oreo, things like that. Anything like cookie. Um, but they didn't have it, so I'm surprised that their milkshake machine was even open. <laughs> so, anyway, that's what we have. Um, I've never actually had McDonald's chicken nuggets like as a, a meal. I've had like bites of like my brothers when we were little but I never ate the nuggets I always ate um burgers that's what I always liked but we're gonna try it because Haley Reese says it's really good so she doesn't eat me anymore but this is what she used to eat so let's try it that sauce is actually really good um McDonald's chicken nuggets are definitely not my favorite chicken they definitely taste better now than they did though 10 years ago. Um, they taste more real. For sure. They're good. Um, but 
I think probably my favorite chicken nuggets. If I had some Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets with this sauce, that would be amazing. Um, McDonald's fries are probably my favorite fast food fries. That's a 10 out of 10. The fries are a 10 out of 10. If these nuggets were Chick-fil-A nuggets, it'd be a 10 out of 10. But because they're McDonald's, I'd give them an 8 out of 10. But the sauce is great. It's really good. Um, when we were going through the drive-thru, my husband's like, what is mac sauce? They don't have mac sauce. I was like, yes, they do. <laughs> mm. I couldn't help myself, so I already drank like half of it on the way home. Do you guys ever like go to the gym and work out and then it's hot outside and then you go outside and it's hot and like you just you stay hot it's just really uncomfortable that's been me all day i can't cool down which sucks i hate that feeling okay so anyway since this was Haley reese's food idea and then we have sophia's milkshake option we're doing a basic mukbang we're going to talk about a few like ghost stories kind of not really stories because these things like happened to um either me or like a family member mm, it's still good so this house that we live in is over 100 years old and if you've ever been in an old house you know that the rooms connect. Everything is connected. So like we have one bedroom where you go out the bathroom and you go through the bedroom to go to the kitchen. But then you can also go around to, it's like a huge loop. So most of the rooms have multiple entrances. Um, we weren't living in this room that we are now. We were in another room and it has two doors. So you go out one door I mean, you take a left, there's a bathroom. And then you go out the other door, there's a kitchen. Well, I get up. I go into the kitchen, do my thing. I don't, I was pregnant, so this was a long time ago. She told me to get a Sprite too. I don't know if I said that. I love Sprite. Anyway, so. I go into the kitchen to get whatever I'm getting, probably food, I'm pregnant. Then I come back into the room through the kitchen door, like through the door that you go to the kitchen. And my husband's like, what do you want? I'm like, what do you mean what do I want? Like, this is my room too. I'm just coming in here. Like, what's the deal? He's like, yeah, but a minute ago you came in here, poked me and then left the room. I was like, what are you talking about? Well, I've been in the kitchen this whole time. And he was like, no, you came from the bathroom and you came and poked me in the side and left. And I was like, no, I didn't. And he was like, yeah, you did. And we went back and forth like that for a while. And to this day, he doesn't believe me. He still thinks I'm lying. My husband's not a believer. He's very skeptical. And... Um, Who's like positive that I'm being a liar? He really just doesn't believe it at all. I was checking on him because he's in the side chair and I didn't know. What? I was checking. Are you sure? Babe, I'm recording. Every time I film, he comes in here, drives me nuts. Anyway, lots of little things happen. There was a big thing that happened a while ago. I have a video on that, like an entire video. It would take me too long to tell you everything. But long story short, we broke the like hundred year old door that we had that came with the house. Some weird stuff happened after that. Really weird. It was not fun. I'll link that down below. But like my son, I want some ketchup too. Um, he'll just like talk and point at things. We did. Uh, there's another video. I'm not trying to make you go watch other videos on my channel. You don't have to go watch this. I'll just tell you about it. Um, he really likes music. Like my husband's really great at music. He can play like everything just has a really good ear for it well my son when he hears music he'll like dance or like bob his head and like he really likes music and so that lady gaga shallow song was playing 
and he's like clapping and all excited and then he looks at me and then he looks at my husband and then he looks at like a third person for like confirmation that like the clapping was what he's supposed to do Yay. <laughs> Yay. good job Yeah. A star. A star. <laughs> it was so creepy because we watched the video back and like you just see him look at this third person exactly like he looked at us, but there was no one there. Quite creepy. I'm getting so full. Alright, I think I'm really done for now. It was really good. So, I didn't realize how full I was going to get, and I still have like nine more YouTubers now. Um, I feel like every day more DM me. So, I literally have nine more YouTubers to eat. Like, So, since I've already ate three meals basically, tonight I might just eat like a normal meal and I might share it with you guys, or like I might get like a quick snack or something, because... I'm really, really full and it's still early. And I don't want to do everything in one day. So I might do like one more YouTuber today and then be done and then make this like a series every week. I'll like finish up the YouTubers and um, we'll probably have to do it like that because I'm really full. But hopefully I get hungry again so this isn't like a really short, dumb video. So I'll see you guys next food. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll see you later. Hey guys, I'm just gonna make this really fast because my kid's being crazy, a crazy boy. So I got super full yesterday after eating all of that food. Aww. And so I decided to just lay low for the rest of the night. I didn't eat again until like 9 p.m. and I ended up just having a few corn dogs. Always eat corn dogs on my cheat days. I love them. Um, and then I had some like ice cream and some cereal. And it was really low key, just hanging out with my family. So I didn't film it. Um, this will be a series because I just got more responses from YouTubers and another band, which I wish they had responded earlier because then I could have put them all in one video. But anyway, um, so this will be a series on my channel. I'm going to keep doing these. I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm basically just going to treat them as cheat days. Um, and then we'll go back to normal cheat days once I ran out of people. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one with different people. And um, I picked YouTubers from all walks of YouTube. So I feel like everyone who's subscribed to me will at least have, you know, a few people in there that they enjoy. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.